Let me first just let you in on a little inside information. Nobody had ever heard of credit default swaps when we debated the Commodity Futures Modernization Act. Summers and Greenspan um, uh, and the two major financial regulators were very alarmed about potential damage to interest rate swaps and currency swaps. But if anybody had ever heard of credit default swaps, they kept it to themselves. If somebody had said to me, do you believe there are swaps where people are betting on or basically selling contracts on whether someone will default, I would have said there probably are. If not, there probably will be, but I didn't know that such a market existed. If it did, it was tiny. But if you're going to look at credit default swaps in any kind of dispassionate way, even though they were never debated in this bill and not an issue in this bill, you got to conclude the market has worked remarkably well. They are still bought and sold today. They are a better predictor of the uh, underlying credit worthiness or have proven to be a much better predictor than the rating agencies. The market has never lost liquidity, never lost liquidity, and uh, the default rate in the market is amazingly low given the state of the economy and the, air, the state of the area in which those swaps are concentrated. So I'm not saying they're perfect, and I will say a little bit in a moment about how I think they might be improved, but it is impossible, in my opinion, to make a case that they created this problem. They didn't create risk, they simply redistributed it. I think that you could probably make an academic case that more financial institutions would have failed without credit default swaps.